to hanger slang hanger what hanger slang hanger slang hanger slang in the house i'm tyra shashadi hey my name's joe belois and uh we have a guest we have a guest for you today quite an important guest pretty dope guest how would you describe this guest joe i would just say a, a man of many talents That's you how took I'd the words it. right <laughs> out of my mouth joe um, i'm not gonna lie they were in my mouth and you just took your fist down I there could, and grabbed them <laughs> Something like that. Listen, I could say, when you think Calvary, you think this name. You the know? man who does a backflip on stage for graduation. He doesn't give one F. He is. Dun, 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 dun. Brendan, Brendan Morris. Morris. What's up, y'all? Yes, sir. Oh, it's good to be back. Wow. Oh. It's good to be back. The opening How you line. Been, man? Good. Hey, get those headphones on. Pop those headphones on, on man. Right. Yeah, you can put the glass down for a second. Hey, where'd you get that glass? You took that from us? Thank you, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, <laughs> speak into the mic. Thanks you can for, adjust the mic, too. Yeah, with your, pull it back to you so you can lean back. Relax, man. We're, we're just vibing here. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. I just have one question I ask everyone who comes on this. Uh, Why did you agree to come on the show? Um, well, well speak into the mic, remember. Well... Free booze, you know. <laughs> there it is. Free, Free booze. booze. Man, uh, almost worth it. You know, I'm chilling out. Um, Get a little closer. With a little closer. Okay, let me try to. Yeah, you can lean it back to you. Yeah, more. you can lean like it back. Pull it just a little. Yeah, from there. Perfect. Let's see. Let's All right, cool. Is that good? Yeah, yeah just good for you. move forward a little bit and talk to, into it. Remember. Yeah, you're good there. All right. So, you know, I wanted to hang out with my friends and stuff like that, and I figured... You know, hey, what better way to do that than hang out in an airport hangar? Come on the pod. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's amazing. It's just I a vibe, it. you know? Oh, my it's a special vibe. I'm going to take a sip of this here on cam. <laughs> this is Vanilla Crown Royale. <laughs> nice. Now, I've never tasted this before. Get closer I've, to the camera. Mike. I've, never I'll had help you out. I've never had this before. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've never had this before. Oh, Perfect. There we go. See, now you can hear yourself better? Yeah. So I've never had this before, so this is going to be very interesting. I think I'm going to do the whole thing in one shot. Whoa. Oh. All right, man. All right, you do you. All right. Mixed emotion. Mixed emotion. How do you, does it make you feel? That's got some nice flavor to it, I'll tell Doesn't you. Doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Um, I let you know now, we had some people call in to ask questions. We'll get to that. About like 10, 15 minutes. You down? All right. I'm done. Um, we yeah. do have a few questions here. Um, I don't know if, Gio, you want to start with some that you wrote? All right. Let's start with the simple stuff here, Brendan. All right. Fire them up. When did we first meet? How do we know you? All right. So you and I first met, I think it was like, God, what, pre-K? <laughs> That's uh, crazy. I think so. Yeah, it was like Something pre- around there. Weren't you, weren't you and me in Mrs. Wells' class? Oh, my goodness. That was such He's a long He's taking me back already. Ago. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we, that's been so long. Yeah. So you guys met in pre-K. Yeah, we met in pre-K. pre-K. You know, throughout like just hit it off, you know, for, straight from pre-K. Yeah. And I also knew you from a very young age in elementary school. You went to Calvary, and yeah. uh, we've always just kind of uh, saw each other in the hallways. Now, we weren't in too many classes together, um, but we've always been kind of tight. I remember we we always did backflips together. Cause yeah, remember that was, that awesome. was sick. Yeah, we parked you took, you it. You took up. an you remember, guy, you remember that guy Andrew, the little kid Andrew with like the hair. Uh, I think so. Andrew with the hair. I, I Andrew, and he had hair? I, and his name was Andrew? I, he, I, did he do, like, flips and stuff? Like, aerials and stuff like no, that? No, no, no. I think you're talking about Mr. Jeremy. No, 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 no. No, no. This Different kid guy. was, like, a young... This kid was a grade younger than me. Nah. Uh, I don't think I remember. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Hey, but anyway, uh, looking back at Calvary, are you, like, like screw that school, or are you, like, you know, kind of cool? No, I'm, I'm glad I went to Calvary. I made a lot of friends there. Yeah, for so. sure. Amen. Yeah, it was yeah. a great school. And then how was, how was your, like, transition after Calvary? You know, how, what, what's been going on? 
Okay, so this is this is gonna be a deep subject. I can already see. <laughs> just just what's going on okay. recently. You we know? love deep subjects, man. Okay. okay, I'm gonna need this for for this topic. Oh, it's your prerogative, man. Tick tock tick. Yeah, the Alex Trebek <sighs> song. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I guess it all started like in the after I graduated. Uh, you guys want to know where I've been since then? Yeah, what's so I mean, you've been like living in Florida. So like, yeah. After after Calvary, what happened the next after that summer? What happened after that summer? What do you do? W- okay, I'll say this: We know you're getting married, right? Yes. It's, can you explain that I story of how you guys met? But yeah, because oh, I feel like yeah, yeah. you getting married is I'll a get big that thing story. that's happening. That's huge, right? Yeah. And a lot of people that um, heard you big were coming news. on the pod wanted to know like what was happening with all that. Okay. Uh, let's let's chat. Let's get into it. All right. Uh, all right. How'd you meet her? Yeah. All right, so I met her at uh, Broward College. Okay. A uh, certain class, or did you just bump into her? Uh, we were in a class together, but funny story is that uh, the day that I was supposed to get my schedule, everything was supposed to be all set and everything, and they fucked it all up. Mm. No. And so uh, when that happened, I got switched and bumped all over the place. Yeah. And my schedule was a mess, and then the first class I had was statistics. With her. And that's how we met. And uh, she was sitting right next to me. The love of my life was sitting right next to me in my first day of college. Wow. Oh. And I'm sitting there. I'm like. Did you like. I'm sitting here. I'm like, I don't know this woman, but I could I could get to know this woman. Yeah. Um, I would like to. I would like to meet her and find out what her story is, where she comes from, where she grew up, every little detail along the way with every emotion attached to it. That's mm. beautiful, bro. You so, know, like, how, what did you guys, did you, like, say, hey? Like, how did you con- go up to her? Or did she go up to you? Well, you know, the first time we actually Was met, it, like, the first love time at first we sight? Met, I d- may- maybe? I, I'm not really sure, but, like, the first time we actually had, like, a proper interaction was uh, Domino's. I worked at Domino's in high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh... But this was after high school. Gotcha. Obviously, when I met her. Yeah. Uh, her... Her and her brother uh, came in for a pizza for like a. I think I think they ordered the. Uh, they came in to get pizza. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was so like the, what happened I after think that. It was the pizza that they ordered. So. Okay. Okay. Um, a little extra bonus there. Yeah. Yeah. So, she she walks in, and I st- I literally start out with a joke. Nice. Okay. Well, what was the opening line? The number you remember, one thing you remember to do. me? I'm Mr. I was Mr. Funny Man. Comedian. Back in high yeah. yeah. I, I, You're I making me of, laugh now. <laughs> I thought I was pretty funny back in the day, and I think I'm still pretty funny today. But I, the the joke that I told her was uh, I was because I was in the middle of like a, a major rush with the um, with like the dinner rush and stuff like that. It was very very busy. Yeah. So she comes in and the phone's ringing. I pick up the phone and nobody's answering. When I say hello, 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 so I hang up. I'm like, you know. If if they're hungry, they'll call back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they probably and would. And they were h- that hungry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it made her, I would. It made her laugh. Yeah, I, ma- I made her laugh the first time I ever met her. That's Boom. the number one thing to do, man. And I have been making her laugh for two years, eight months, and four days later, Ooh. and we are still together. Ooh. Wow! Congr- well, congratulations. That we are, that's you amazing, guys bro. So much. You know, yeah. like who would have thought, man? Like right? that's crazy that I would be the first one of us to get married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? <Wild. laughs> When you say when you, like, first met in class, you know, was it, like, first class you guys started talking, or was it, like, towards, like, the middle of the semester, you know? Uh, it was actually the first day of class. Okay, just straight to it. Straight to it. I asked her A out. A man who knows I what he wants. I asked her out immediately after. Like, so, we talked for how long did hours. you date until you engaged to her? So, how long were you dating before you want, you knew she was going to be your wife? Two years. Okay. That's, that's nice, man. Yeah. That's really props to you, man. Good amount Real. of time. Two years. Um, Steven, how many questions did we receive? Any text uh, questions either? No, that I know of, uh, like two. Okay. We'll, we'll play them later. I actually have a question for Brennan. So, What's marriage, mm-hmm. does that scare you? No, I don't know. So, what ca- what advice would you give to someone that hasn't entered that season of life yet? Great question. Wow, that's a that's a deep question. What would I say to somebody who like what, what advice? What advice? Someone who isn't oh, maybe okay. confused. If they're con- if you're confused on marriage, don't get married until you are ready. 
Yeah. Don't get married until you figure it out. Yep. You know, you, you, you can't rush into something thinking, you know, my God, I have to marry this girl immediately. You know, you have to wait. You have to take the time to get to know her. That's so and, true. And get to know her, like, emotionally and every, everything. And, you know, you have to continue to take take that and just and run with it. Mm. Yeah. Hey, man, dude. I, actually, I like that answer. Thank you. I do. Sure. I like that. It's a good answer. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. If I, like, I just want to kind of get a better grip on this because – Last time I saw you, mm-hmm. right? Last last time I saw you, I was driving home from Broward. I'm driving slow. I'm pulling up to a light. I look to the right of me, and it's Brendan Morris with this girl. And apparently he's telling me, he told me earlier, it was like three days after they first started talking or something, right? Yeah. So I'm like, holy crap. I roll down the window. I say, what's going on, Brendan? And he's like, hey, this is my girlfriend. Leans over. Starts making out with her. Right no, there. Yeah. no, like, yeah. wow. you dirty dog. And right when bro. he did that, right when he went <laughs> in for it, light turned green. I said, oh "See my you later, Brendan." Gosh, bro. But man, I was like, "Respect." So you to put him. on a show for him, didn't you, <laughs> bro? What? He's got a girl. He likes to. He likes to show her off. Sometimes. I love that, I bro. Unashamed. All right. I am not ashamed at all. So, um. We had some teachers at Calvary. Um, I'd like to know your favorite teacher and your least favorite teacher. Quick. Let's do this in like 30 seconds, okay? Yeah, these are like, all right, hold on. Oh. Nice. Rapid fire, rapid fire questions here. Yeah, you got to make sure it's finished. It's done. Yep. Wow. Okay. Ow. That's all right. Oh, I hit my funny bone. I hate like, that. Ow. Oh, I did that live on camera. <laughs> What's up? Good crap. Oh, I got you. So. I hit my funny ball. Listen, right. as long as you stay Brandon, funny, we're answer fine Answer the question. It. Ready? Favorite teacher. Go. Uh, God, I would have to say Miss Folland, eighth grade history teacher. Fire. Worst favorite teacher. Well, Worst favorite. favorite. Oh. Come on, no. least favorite teacher. Who did you not, who did you like hate if you hated someone? Uh. Don't think too hard. Miss Connolly, probably. <laughs> oh, there it is. I never had her. <laughs> I had her. I had her for eighth grade algebra. And I was like, uh, I'm. Like, it's like I didn't hate her, but it's like I. Yeah. I don't, I don't know yeah. if I liked I her it. teaching style. I don't know what it was. I feel but you. I just didn't. I just didn't just like didn't, the. Listen, I just you didn't like the class. You, you know? weren't vibing with her. You were on two different wavelengths. Yeah, Let me ask you this: What did your uh, parents say about um? You getting married? Are they? Were, did they know you were gonna ask her to marry you? Or three months into the relationship, actually, your girlfriend to marry you? How long? Three months in. You three knew you in? wanted to marry her. Three months in, I knew I wanted to marry her. Sometimes when you know, you just know. Yeah. Okay. And that's. Excuse me. <laughs> um. So, and you. Yeah. You just, sometimes you just know. Yeah. No, I get that. So it was like. Uh, yeah. I like it. No, um, I so you. I think we want to. Do you want to do a uh, video submission, a video question? Yeah, Stephen, get one sure, ready. Oh, one. See, well, and what, what time are we at right now, Steve? We're at. It's eight thirty-one. Fifteen minutes. Beautiful. Fifteen. All right. Um. Hold on, let me go in here. All right, Brennan. This one here is from Alicia. That, yeah. Ready? Alicia. Like, yep. Put it up to the mic. Hey, Brendan, it's Alicia and Casey, and we wanted to know if you would do an original freestyle for us and hop on that beat. And to top it off, do a backflip for old times. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what a question. What a submission. Um, it's a loaded question. Take it one at a time. Hey, all I'm saying is get a freestyle beat ready. Yeah, Brendan, I saw you practicing yeah. before. You go ahead now. If we do a freestyle, are you comfortable freestyling? Like, you know, like you don't a have to bars. if you don't want to. But I mean, if we do it, we're going to do it quick. Uh, let's say maybe 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. All right, fine. You right, say you'd sure. be down? Hey. Cue up. Just hey, type man, in an I instrumental I on YouTube. Instrumental. Yo, been, Rap instrumental. I've been drinking. Hell yeah, I'm down. <laughs> there we go. Dope, man. I'm well, telling you. Get, let me get one ready. Well, hey, we're vibing out here tonight. Yeah, for Just sure. want you guys to know that. Oh, it's a total cool. vibe night. And um, after this, maybe, I mean, we have a video of you doing a backflip. People can go on the Instagram at Hanger Slang. Yep. And see it. It's been oh, posted. wait, you Pretty posted crazy. it? Yeah, I did. Obviously. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Cr- we can look yeah, at it after. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at it after. We'll look at it after. I want to see it. Though. We're potting right now. Hey, we'll all, we'll all we want to hear is some bars dropped right about now. 
You want to with that instrumental? All right, here we go. 30 oh, seconds. Excuse me, there's an ad. Wow, that's awkward. Ads? Oh, Steve. What are you going to do? Yeah. Right. What are you going to do? Perfect time for our sponsor. <laughs> Cash app. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. All right, rap instrumental. Here we go. 30 seconds. Go. Here we go. Got my friends on the board. Oh, we up in the club, we up in the zone, in the hangar with my bros. Let's mm. go. I mm. don't really know mm. what I'm saying, mm. y'all. I'm drunk. <laughs> I don't care. Let's move on. Here we go. Ooh. Come on. Nah, nah. I'm fine. Take off without me. I don't really care where you go. Don't stop me. I ain't going for the train, y'all. I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm headed for that line. Take me back to the glory divine. Oh, oh, oh cut, gotta, cut, oh, cut. Oh, boy. We need sound effects. Yo, Holy I'm not cow. even going to lie. That was probably better than what I could do. Yeah, Brennan, you kind of killed You that. actually rhymed well. Oh, my goodness. You practiced that? No, that I, was I fire. just made that up on the spot. <laughs> Dang. I, I did not practice at all. I have not practiced freestyling in God knows how many months. There you go. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, just that off nice. the top from Brendan Morris. Yo, Brendan more Morris. count for me, please. All right, I'll, all right, man. I'll hey, play a little bit more. Pay, yeah, he, he's not driving. Yeah, he's not driving. Yep. <laughs> he's a burper. Oh, oh man. Talk about those memories from Calvary. Yeah, we do want to touch on some memories from Calvary. Oh man. Ooh, that's a nice fat shot. That is a nice one. Wow. Yo, you guys are in for a treat tonight. Y'all I have a feeling. Yeah, that's why we invited you. We knew. Dude, we knew you're. You are mo- our uh, most anticipated guest. Really? Honestly. Yeah, you are. Anticipate. People hear the name Brendan Morris. It's just something else clicks. What? Am I like a legend over at Calvary? Or something? I, I mean, dude, we just I want people to that. get to know like the real you, because we yeah. we love you, man. Like, like I I I loved you in high school, man. We just want to get people to like see what's going on with you, because we think yeah. you're a very interesting person. So um. I know. Yeah, Thank I'm glad you. you're here. Yeah, Thanks for I'm, coming. I'm glad you. I'm glad you guys invited me. You know, yeah. I. Uh, I gotta say, it's, it's great to be here. I'm really glad to be here. Yeah. Uh, honestly, after the week I've had, and honestly after the year I've had, probably, mm. I could definitely use some drinks with friends. There you go, hey man, bro. There's hey no man. better cure. There's are, no better cure than communion, talking together with one another, laughing. Breaking bread together. Yeah, exactly. for sure. And I do kind of want to touch on your 2020, like your ups, your downs, mental states. Yeah, Brandon, just, you that told w- me. I d- we were curious about everyone's 2020, so. Yeah. yeah. You told me you work in security. Do you have any stories about that? Um, Well, the first day, I'll tell you about the first day. So the first night that I spent by myself, I had been training for two days at that point. So I was like fairly comfortable with the system and everything and how it worked. And I was like, okay, Mm -hmm. so, you know, I I know how to do this. Easy enough. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. And uh, so the first night I'm in there, I'm sitting there. I'm, I just, I had just grabbed some Oreos from the uh, snacking away. Yeah. I had just grabbed some Oreos from the vending machine and I was like, yeah, let me just enjoy some Oreos while I read a book. Right. Yeah. 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 So I was reading a book at the time called loyalty by, um, loyalty. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's good. something Croft. I can't remember. All right, loyalty. By loyalty with Croft. the book. Got it. Um, but uh, you're reading the book, and all of a sudden this girl comes up to me and she's like, "Somebody hit my car." Mm. Ooh. And I was like, oh. "It's morphin' time." I'm it's like, morphin' time. <laughs> I told her, "I'm like, um, I don't okay." Uh, I'm like, "God, nobody trained me for this." Okay, let's go see what happened. No one trained you for that? <laughs> no, nobody trained me for what happened. Are you like, like uh, are you responsible or something? Or did they just, I guess, want to talk to you about it? No, no, no. They they just needed help. Like, Got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah. And they wanted to know what they should do. So I called my, you know, I called my boss. I asked him, he's like, just tell them to call the police. So the police show up two hours later, obviously, because they're slow as all hell. Yep. You know. A lot of people are definitely not track know, runners. A lot of people are just slow. Yeah, you know, you know a lot uh, of people never ran track. It's so. funny you say that because actually, just last week I work valet right now, and some guy goes to his car to get something. And he said, "Hey, someone, you know, ding the front of my hood." I looked. There's like a balcony above it. I'm like, and then I look again. Like 
on the ground, and it's like a small vape someone must have threw down there. So I had to call the cops, go through that same thing. Oh, shit. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Well. Somebody threw a vape down there? Really? Yeah, right. Come, All right. On, come on, man. I kind of have why, a... Why are you going to waste a perfectly good vape? <laughs> Amen. Who does Amen. that? Hey, and I checked it after. Still worked. <laughs> Still <laughs> operational. Wait, was that the one that hit me? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Brandon. I have a serious question. All right. Um, if you don't want to answer, you don't have no, to. No, you're good. Shoot away. Um, are you going to wait till marriage to have sex with your wife? Yes. Amen. Nice. Amen. Nice. Is, can I may, can I ask why? We chose to wait because we we've made some mistakes along the way. Okay. But you know we decided let's go completely clean until the wedding. Bro, this nice. is about to be the most healthy relationship I've ever heard of. Literally. Yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> like I love just, that man. We were just like we need to get closer with God before we can. Dude, know, I love that. Before we can even get married. It's, so it's that's, good to so see that's what we've been so that's what we've been working on for the past uh well since I had a car wreck in August. Uh, car wreck. Oh, goodness. Are we just I, wait? Was it the what car did you drive? A Nissan? It was like the Cube, right? S- yeah, Scion XB two thousand six. Oh. Beautiful four door hatchback. It was. Just oh. It's the Cube beautiful. car, dude. It was oh. sweet. Yeah, those cars. Nice. I totaled it. How oh. did you get what hurt? Happened? What happened? Or hurt I got, anyone? I got hurt bad. You see? Okay, you see. I don't know if you guys can see this, but you see this scar on my arm? Uh, Maybe. Kind of. See that? Sure. I see it, yeah. Okay, so that's a second degree burn from the airbag going off. Oh. <laughs> the airbag went off. Mm. And I freaked out. How'd it happen? What? I completely flipped out. I was... Uh, okay, so here's what happened. So I was looking in the right lane to... I was looking in the right lane to change lanes... See if I could get over and go around this person because he was going too slow. Sure. And so as soon as I do that, the guy slams on the brakes. Oh. And I crash into him about 50 miles an hour. Mm. Yeah. That's and not a good one. If you look at the car, if you look at my car and you look at his car, he, he barely had a freaking dent in it. Yeah. Wow. And meanwhile, my car was total where you could see the radiator and the engine. Mm. <laughs> it was just one of those. You know, was it raining? You got the short end of the stick. It was a Good thing no one got it was hurt a sunny very day. bad, though. Yeah, and hey. that—that's the worst part about it. Was but that could have yeah. happened on a rainy day too? That would have made it even worse. Yeah, it's you're, ridiculous. You're, you're pissed off. You're soaking wet. Yeah, your hey. insurance is probably gonna go through the roof. Can't can't cry over your spilled milk. Yeah, you know? exactly. No. Hey, uh, so what do you what are you driving now? Hmm. I'm driving a Mazda three. Hey. Ooh, you got an upgrade. Fire. Black Mazda 3, 2008, 82,000 82, miles. Nice. 80, no, 83,000 miles Hey, you now. take care of that thing? Oh, yeah. That's going to last you. How many, what do you do for fun nowadays, Brendan? Oh, great day question. Day in the what life. Is, what's your, yeah, day in the life here. Besides your wife. Besides work and besides. Not like, sh- no, like besides hanging out with her. Yeah, besides hanging out with her and besides working, what do you like to do? Well, you know I I don't I honestly don't do a whole lot yeah outside of work sure but I like you know I'll, I'll try to hang out with a friend on occasion yeah like my best man Orion nice uh, oh Ryan what a best net but that, if I had a best man I'd want him named Orion oh uh, Orion would be ta- lead me yeah <laughs> lead to me to find get new con- <laughs> like find new like continents it's Orion yeah like does he have a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ryan's boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. All we right, hey, we like you. to do little funny puns here. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. We get crazy. <laughs> we go crazy. <laughs> ah! You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, man. Um, Wait. So, oh, yeah. What you, you, man, give I me need, a hobby. I, like, if, you, if you're in your bed alone or, you're, you know, you're just chilling out by yourself for some reason during the day, what do you, what do you try to do? Um... I, I, you know, I try to lo- like I try to watch cartoons here and there. Yeah. You know, because I get bored, and I freaking love Scooby Doo. Mm. Scooby Doo is dope. Is my favorite cartoon of all time. Okay. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Oof. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Six. Yeah. From you. <laughs> no, stop. If you're going to commit to it, you got to keep going. That was beautiful. Uh, thank yeah. you. Who's your favorite beautiful. character from Scooby-Doo? 
Scooby or Dill? <laughs> Probably Shaggy. Oh, uh, Shaggy. You got his voice down? Uh, oh, what is the movie he played? How about a hand sandwich to calm the nerves? Mm. Ooh. Mm. All right, what's I that? I didn't know he had an impersonator Can you do his, with uh, the dog's Ooh. voice? What's the dog's name? Scooby Dooby Doo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh man. Have you ever considered becoming a voice actor? I have. I have because you actually it. are pretty good. Yeah. Like you, you can do. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? I'm, I'm having a hard time with that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Scooby. Can you do Scooby Batman? Batman. <laughs> okay. He's freaking spot on. The Joker. Ooh. Uh, which one? Ooh. Uh, oh, oh, okay, good. okay. Good. Jared Leto. I don't know Jared Leto. Uh, that's a tough one. All right, then the only Joaquin Phoenix. You pick Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. They got what they fucking deserved. <laughs> that was more Heath Ledger. That, but that was, was more perfect. Heath Ledger, but that, that was, was really good. Yeah. Wow. Steven, what did you think about that one? I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, I liked it. Well, I mean, he did say that in you know in the movie. That's the only reason I said the. Yeah. No. It, yeah. It, no. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. If anything, we'll beep it out after. Yeah. <laughs> Brennan, you told me you like to skate three. Tell us about that. Oh, oh I, man. I like skate oh, three. Oh, I got a lot of skate three stories, man. I, I remember going down, like, mountains and, like, you know, freaking spinning into the ground. Yeah. And breaking every bone in the body of the skate three character. Yeah. Oh, that was the best. Oh, you know, I got so much anger out in that game. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know it's a game I, like, like whenever that? I got, whenever I was, like, pissed off from school and stuff yeah. like that, I came Wait. home. I was like, I'm playing Skate 3. I'm going to take my anger just out do and it. this freaking just character. I'm going to just break every bone in their body. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, uh, I like that. You ever heard of Goat Simulator? Oh, dude, I play that I play that game. I have it. Yeah. It's very much like Skate 3, just without the skating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all you just do is fuck around. So it's like. Yeah, it's a fun game. What's the main game you play right now? Geometry Dash and Geometry Un- Dash. Uncharted 4. Okay. I I've like recently that. started getting into the treasure games again. Yeah. So, you know, like the treasure hunting games, the Uncharted yeah. series? Yeah. So I've beaten Uncharted 2 and 3. I haven't beaten 1 because it's just too stupidly hard. Yeah. Number 1. And number 2, the, the controls are just dog shit. It's pathetic. It's I feel bad. that. Yeah. I'm going to go. Hey, ahead. yeah, while you're fixing the camera, he's got to reset the camera. Um, This is what I'll say. When I first, you know, thought of Brendan... Just memories started rushing back, you know? <laughs> just started rushing back. I was like, oh, my gosh, there's so many things this kid did. It, it put him on, like, legend status. So <laughs> I think, like, the my, like your peak <laughs> memory for, like, the whole grade. <laughs> if the grade knew you by one thing, 10th grade retreat, backflip in front of the whole boys class. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, of course. But one thing I'd say, Brennan, is actually – when I actually – New Brennan yeah. was when he played football. You remember that? Oh, yeah. I remember his football days. He said, days. I'm not quitting for anything. And surely enough, he played the whole season. I'll give him credit for that. Yeah, with a concussion? Oh, yeah, with everything. Who gave with you everything. that concussion? Uh, Chris Donnelly. You should have seen the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> should have seen Chris. <laughs> Yo, you know, you know, uh, small. it's actually a small world because Chris Donnelly actually yeah. lives in 30. a neighborhood that I do security cars. for. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. He lives in Cascada. It's 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 so crazy. I, I've met his mom quite a few just, times. Just put out Nick Donnelly's address real quick for us. <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nicholas Donnelly. Uh, so, yeah. Tenth grade retreat. You go up in the stage and just backflip. Did you feel like you needed to do that? Like that was just your moment? I remember that. That was, that was legendary, by the that way. That was so legendary. I, I, and was. then you remember afterwards, really the drama teacher? Just, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I am so disappointed. She was so mad. It was so bad. <laughs> I, I just laughed afterwards. I, I didn't even care. I was like. Yeah. Th- that's one thing I'll give you. In high school, you didn't care. You didn't care about anything. You just did what you wanted. You weren't going to let someone tell you did. what to do. I, I started drinking in high school, actually. Really? I got. I, I I started drinking as much as I possibly could. Really? Whenever I got a chance to at, like, family reunions. Mm. I had a few apple Ritas here and there. And then I wound up getting drunk on four of them. Oh, uh, sounds like a, a rough by the, morning. By the, by, the yeah. fi- by the fifth one, I I think I passed out or something. Gosh. So yeah, no, I, I, get I have I I, don't, I wouldn't say I have like a drinking problem, but it could be a potential. 
You just gotta watch yourself. Something, man. yeah. Watch out. Moderation for it. is key. Listen, you just turned problem. 21. People think they gotta go out and drink every day. Hey, you're gonna be older than 21 for the rest of your life. Yeah. yeah. I, this is really good. I actually really like this. Yeah, most people do. It is do. good. Most people do. Um, I, I gotta have some. Do you wanna do another question soon? No. Yeah, I'll pour it for you if you want. Yeah, honestly, what a way to start off that retreat. Like, before, I'll say, yeah. I didn't really know what was going on, but when Brennan did that flip, I was like, whoa, yeah. this is where I'm at right now. Yes. Here, here we go. Let me try to find another Oh, yeah, question. G, by the way, that camera died, I think. The main one or yours? Or yours. Oh. You're fine. You guys are awesome. I'm, I'm, I, you guys, I'm so glad I'm here. I'm glad we're doing this, man. You know, like, I, I've honestly, like... People are just, you know, I, they're I interested. Have, I, I have some... I, I have some truth for you guys. Sure. <sighs> the more alcohol you give me, the more truth I spill. Oh, no. Hey, uh, hey man, we're not yeah, trying we're to not get you. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. Yeah, you <laughs> you just asked for the shot. Yeah, just want to put that <laughs> out there. Yeah, no, we're, done, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, you're cut off now. You're cut off. <laughs> well, how about we play another question here? This one, let me find it. This one's for... Great parlay into that, Steven. Yeah. This one's for Ashley. Ashley, Ashley Brendan, Palmer. So I heard about a incident with a bush and a raccoon. <laughs> Can you elaborate on this story, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you know, I'll tell you what. I do remember that. What happened? I remember that story. Is that? Do, does that? You remember <laughs> something about that? Clearly, what is she talking? Clearly, about? clearly it rings a bell. <laughs> and I personally don't know. <laughs> what is she talking about, Brendan? Oh boy. Oh my God. D- what is oh, what is she talking man. about? It I looks was, like it looks like you have some explaining this to wasn't do. Gonna come up. What? What, what is it? Is well, it bad? It's, it's up. If it's up, then it's up. <laughs> once, you, once you put it out there. Oh my god! Okay, I am genuinely curious about this now. Okay, so mm. I told uh, I told the football team I, when I was like fourteen, I made out with a girl behind the bushes of like my complex or whatever. Sure. And I was having sex with her, and I, Wait, I pulled out and came on a raccoon. <laughs> That's what I told them happened. <laughs> oh, the and truth they believed is, I was it. just making out with her behind the bush. Yeah. Nothing else happened. Yeah. Hey, that is, <laughs> and they all believed it. Yeah, they all believed that. They Dude, oh that, my God. Wait, that was I said that's I the funniest thing ever. Wait, 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 hold <laughs> Stop. on. Wait, so you just made that up completely? <laughs> I totally made it up. The whole wait, thing. Is wait, is the raccoon part true? I was like, I, do you, is the, do the raccoon the part true? Hey, hey, hey. Is the raccoon part true? No, never a raccoon. Nothing? Never a raccoon. You didn't ever. even see a raccoon in the was area. I even saw one. Was there a girl? Was there a girl? Yes. Okay, that was a girl. Oh, now that part. Okay. I don't, don't be lying to that part. I was 14, man. I was a stud. Are you kidding me? That's true. That is true. I remember. I was a stud. You remember how many girls I dated throughout high school, bro? Like, I just like. I, I let's, lost. Well, try counting. Too many. <laughs> let's, let's begin. Oh. I need more of a we don't have to. I mean, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know if, if we want to. You have a fiance. I don't know if we sh- you should be talking about all the girls you dated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless you guys, I mean, you guys have a strong relationship. And she probably wouldn't care. Yeah, you probably. But I mean, told it's just anyway. up to you. Yo, you mind if I cheat my nigga too? Yeah, that's fine. Do whatever you want. You're the guest. Lord. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so much, I don't know. Fuck it. Fire. Okay, here we go. Nice. So this is a smock Nord. I smoke this a lot. Like it's. Um, well, basically, if I get too messed up, it helps keep me, or it helps, like, sober me up a little bit. Okay. If I'm, like, too... You know, that's on. funny you said that, because Maxim says the same thing. <laughs> he does. He does. He drinks Yo, a little too much. Sh- you should have him on the show, bro. Yeah. He, he was He was in the last episode like for a couple minutes. minutes. Last two episodes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Really? He, he makes his rounds. Yeah. He's oh, always I around. wish he could have come here tonight. Yeah, yeah me yeah. too. Yeah. I don't know what is Max doing. Yeah, what is Max doing? <laughs> he's a drifter, so yeah, he's a I drifter. wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if he just ca- walked in any second. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think Max Hume graduated with his, did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he got his like he walked with us. I think he got his like graduation thing like a couple days late, but he walked. Speaking of walking, graduation, walking down the stage, you just had to make a. I just had to do some kind of flip. I was just like. You know what? Fuck it. I graduated high school. There you I go. Might as well do a fucking flip. What's going to happen? Yeah. You're done. Right. I was like, yeah. What flip did you choose? I just forget. Was it a side or a back I, flip? I did or? like a one one, uh, one arm cartwheel. Oh. Yeah. It, it was like an aerial, right? Kind of. Well, almost like an aerial, like okay. a one-handed cartwheel. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
What it like? Did you ever any like thought in your head that was like, well, if I fall right now, like I'm known as the kid who just fell walking on graduation. I was like, I was too confident myself. There you go. To, Good like, for you. I was too confident myself to fuck it up. I was like, nah. Brendan, I will give you props. You might be one of the most confident people I've seen. Mm-hmm. And it seems like I'm nothing's bringing that, that down. That confidence did not come overnight. I, I would tell you. Yeah. It took me a long time to build up confidence like this. Now, yeah, for I've, sure. I, I've been with my girl now for two years, eight months, and four days, and I can safely say that she is the one for me. There you she, go. She is the person that I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life loving, holding, and cherishing in sickness and in health and till death do us part. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm with her all the way. She is my ride or die. I am her ride or die. It is all or nothing, and I am all in. That's actually mm. beautiful. Mm. That is beautiful. You need to quote that. That should be, the, you pretty much just said your vows right there, right? Cheers <laughs> for real, dude. You have no, your no, vows written yet? No. Gotcha. I'm sure. It, hey, with a poet, poet mouth like that, I'm sure it'll come easy. For real. Yeah. Hey. Uh. All right. Let's just I do a couple. Spend, I honestly, I'm telling you though, with her, I honestly want to spend the rest of my life making her as happy as she makes me. Mm, there it is. Love Mu- it. Mutual benefit. I like it. Hey. Um. Hottest girl in our grade. Just whatever comes to mind. Something's already in your mind. Uh, I know that. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. But. Fuck. Quicker the better. Uh. See, now people are just going to think you thought about it too long. What, you mean in 12th grade? or like? Who's the hottest girl in our grade? In senior the span class? of your uh, four years in high school at or, Calvary. Or throughout high school. Probably Jillian Sward. Really? Or, or, Ooh, uh, Jillian that's who you Sword. say takes or the Julia cake? Shrazen. Okay, wow. I uh, wouldn't I, I expect that. I always you, thought I always thought Julia was cute. I like. I remember in like second grade, she was like eight inches taller than I was. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. I was like four two. She was like five foot. I was like, what's going on with this? Wow. I All was right. like, I had no idea how to react because like I, I had never seen somebody in my grade that was that. Tall. That would be an <laughs> awkward looking proposal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Hottest looking guy in Calvary. No homo. Yeah, course. no homo. No homo. Just who do you think was the best looking guy? Unless you wanted to be homo. It, we don't judge. But uh Yeah, you do you. God. Oh, where do I begin? Oh my. Where do you begin? <laughs> You've been thinking about this question, huh? Yeah. Probably John Roy. John oh. Roy. <laughs> well, these are some interesting answers here. Oh he answered that one quicker than <laughs> you asked the girl question. <laughs> nah, he's getting married. He's getting married. Okay. That, that's, that's interesting. And I'm pretty yeah. sure he's a gay man, too. I'm pretty sure. John? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. He came out a, f- a couple of years ago, I think. Mm, good for him. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Did that have any influence on your pick? N- no. I, I kind of always knew it was him. Yeah. Like, I always thought he was, like, kind of the hottest guy in our grade. Nice. Facts. Feel that. Respect. Um, <laughs> dude, yeah. On that, on that note. <laughs> hey, uh, are we ever going to see the cornrow phase of Brendan again? Oh, vintage. <laughs> Possibly. I think for the wedding. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what is your thoughts? No, I think I'm going to be, like, I'm, I'm going to have, like, a, a skin fade. Okay. Going and then like you know like long. It's real clean, but like really clean. You remember how I had it when I was like sixteen, back in the tenth grade. Back in the tenth grade. You remember when I had my hair like really long, but then I then I cut it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it looked like really good afterwards. It was like yo, what? I remember that phase. I was like, Brendan hair look looks on on fleek right now. Mm Mhm. Yeah. Absolutely. And I was like, oh yeah, I have like. Dude, I, have, I I just have to do it for the wedding, man. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you, you get one wedding, and yeah, that's, that's and, unless well, you don't. But maybe you get more. Maybe <laughs> you, you could get more. Brendan, did you still have the leather jacket from, like, fifth grade? No. Okay. Come on. <laughs> well, no, no, no I outgrew it. Yeah, I outgrew true. it. That's I got fat, right. bro. Like, I'm <laughs> nah. Yeah, you never know. All right. I'm going to tell you what I weighed. Uh, let me tell you what I weighed when, when I left Calvary. Okay. Well, I weighed 135 when I left Calvary. Sure. I weigh 172 now. Mm. Hey, man. Those, that's that. You're beefing up. That's fine. It's that COVID cushion, bro. There you that's go. That's what they call it, that <laughs> COVID cushion. Gotta listen, love it. Listen, no one's hating on, like, that dad bod style. That's what you're worried about. People are loving that. That's hey, in. Hey, the, 
The only person you need to impress is your wife, and I think she you thinks go. you're perfect how you are. Mm-hmm. She's amazing, man. I don't deserve her, bro. Mm. Like, mm. I love her with all my heart. Like, she is... She's the reason why I get out of bed in the morning. She's the reason I have a smile on my face when I go to sleep. And she's the... Re- She's the reason I want to spend every day making her happy. Mm. It's beautiful. Because she always finds a way to make me happy in some sort of way. Some capacity. Every, every single time we're together. And she's amazing, and I really, really don't deserve her. Mm. Wow. And I love her so much. Wow. And I really, I this really This man can't just wait. can't stop talking about her. I guess that's just a true sign, honestly. Hey, uh, on that note, favorite dead person. These, uh, these are supposed to be quick, friend, but you can take your time if you want to. Yeah. Favorite dead person. Favorite dead person. Let's see. Uh, Chadwick Boseman, probably. Mm. Oh, like That's Peter. a good one, yep. dude. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a really good one. Also, Cameron Boyce. Cameron Boyce. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Give yeah. him Jesse. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, I, miss, I miss Cameron Boyce. Favorite. He's fire. Favorite person that you're glad is dead. <laughs> I don't know. Someone you're just glad is dead. Hitler. <laughs> I knew yeah. you were going to say yeah. Hitler. Yeah. That's the first reason. Yeah. Yeah. Mussolini. I don't know. <laughs> Mussolini. Yeah. I'd throw Stalin in hey, there. I feel I bad Stalin, for yeah. Mussolini. You know, Hitler got really all the credit there. I know. And he wasn't even the I mean, Mussolini's in a history book or two, but Hitler really I just know. took it from there. It's the name. Yeah. Yeah. It's the name. You can't get famous off of Mussolini. Dude, I love how every person who wants to make a joke about Hitler is always like, Dude, say what you want about Hitler, but like he had good leadership skills. <laughs> They're like they say something about that. It's like, so, right. so, dude, all right, like, yeah. <laughs> I thanks. just hate when people do that. You can't, you can't deny he was good leader, bro. Yeah. He was a good leader. Like the, no, he was no, not, no he, I mean, he yeah, obviously he was, he was but like, <laughs> he was not. A, like, shut up, dude. Yeah, he was you know? not a leader for a good cause. He was a leader for a bad cause. I just so think and only- inherently would make him a bad leader. The only way you can make fun of them is just by complimenting them at this point. You know? <laughs> People have already covered the, the bad parts about him. He's made that one pretty known. That's true. Yeah. Hey. Um. Let's see. All right. Uh. Are you still, I'll tell you this, you got a little upset last time people used to call you this. Do you still get upset by it or do you not care? What is it? Yeah, Brendan. I don't care anymore. There you go. Huh. That was that stu- was stupid too. That was years ago. Because I I I'll tell you I, something. Yeah. You got you got upset by that back that in the day. That was so annoying to me for some reason. Seems like you're a lot more calm now. You're collected. Yeah. No. I, yeah. You said that was so dumb. The, yeah, Brendan. I mean, it was catchy. You know what you know, I'd love you to see. Entertained us, bro. You know what I'd love to see. Where did that originate from? Yeah, Brendan. Yeah, I yeah. don't know where it came. Uh, Do you know? Eighth grade Bahamas trip. That's all I know where it came from. Yeah, but people from. would yell that. It wasn't like a yeah, Brendan. Yeah, Brendan. It was like a yeah, Brendan. Dude, I've always been oh very, God, I've dude. always <laughs> admired this about you, Brendan, because I remember the eighth grade yeah. Bahamas trip. Yep. Um, remember? shit was just not going your way. I think. Can you yeah. agree to that? It was <laughs> yeah. not going it your way. It wasn't your trip. And dude, I admired you so much because you took that like. With you just took that like it was just nothing. Like I'll tell you I'll your attitude during it was just amazing. Um, really? If you want to describe just like what happened on that trip, just because you had a bad stroke of luck, and like you, I think you handled it well. Like I felt, I, I personally felt bad for you on that. Like what happened with your, you broke your arm like that. I broke my arm. Uh, Jer- Jared Torres poured cereal in my bed. I remember that. Oof. You guys remember that, well, dude? That's back. why were we, you in my cabin, dude? We had. I we, think we were in your oh, cabin. Yeah, they got payback on him. Hey. Yeah, but that can was you set the scene for us though. Yeah, when you broke your arm. When I broke my arm. Okay, so I was uh, at the obstacle course. At Where are the, we? Where is this? This is at the ALS Center in the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. Okay, yes. we were in the ALS Center in the Bahamas, and I remember I was racing a little girl in, or I can't remember if it was a little girl or a little boy. One or the I, other. Yeah. Anyway, I was. We don't see sex here, by the way. So yeah. 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 I was racing a little kid in the bu- yeah. in the uh, obstacle course, and I was like, "I'm gonna jump this hurdle." I didn't make the fucking jump. Mm. <laughs> I didn't make the jump. Yeah. And what happened was my foot got caught on the hurdle. Yeah. And I fell forward, and my arm broke from oh. here like that. 
So where the bone was hanging like that no bueno. off of my body. So what happened after that? So you had your broken arm. What did they do? Where did they take you? How, um, did, how did they like seek help for you? Because I, I, I don't remember. Yeah. So uh, I remember this in bits and pieces because my memory is a bit fuzzy on it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was like seven or eight years, seven years ago now. Yeah. yeah. We're going back. What? what? Like seven, eight years ago? That sounds crazy, actually. Are you kidding? Bro, like... I, I remember this like it was yesterday too, mm -hmm. <laughs> and like the the crazy part is I I still like <laughs> I still think about it sometimes I, I still remember yeah uh, I remember the hospital I, I remember the ride to the hospital was horrible yeah yeah and a foreign oh country too it's like gosh the I can't pain imagine. it's crazy that the the pain I felt from like from the ride to the hospital to actually getting to the hospital was probably the most intense pain I've had in a very long time. Mm. If not the most intense pain I've ever had. Mm. Except for when I sliced my finger Ooh, uh, at Spanky Spanks the Hog. Oh, that's a great place. How'd you do that? Yeah. Uh, so I was working in their kitchen. You were working there? Yeah, I, I used to work at Hog. No at way. Yeah, I used oh to work gosh. at a barbecue place. I'm surprised I, I didn't see you. You were a cook? Yeah, and a dishwasher as well. Nice. So... Doing everything, but I, I help. Yeah, I, I did everything I could whenever they needed me. So yeah. Um. So what happened was I was opening a bag of ribs, mm. and the knife slipped. Oh. And mm. it cut my finger at like a check mark angle. Yeah. And then it cut this one too, but uh -huh. this one has like a very little scar. This one's like. That's deep. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, that's deep. Damn, bro. It was to the bone. I could see. I could see like the, my blood vessels and shit. Yeah. That's wild. I well, didn't have I didn't have stitches, by the way. No. No, yeah. no stitches. Just suck that Some blood right out. No. 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 And no. Wipe your butt with it, right? You, you, <laughs> know. you wanna know how I did it? You wanna know how I, I had no stitches? You're gonna yeah. tell us. Onion skin. Stop it. Onion oh skin? My. Onion Everyone skin. Everyone listen up. Onion skin. So this guy, this cook yeah. that I used to work with, uh the one that actually taped me up with the onion skin. Sure. Uh, he actually cut his fingers a very long time ago when he was working with a Chinese chef, uh, in a you know in a Chinese place. Sure. And uh, he was working with him, and I, I think he was in Asia at the time, but he cut all four of his fingers like wow. that to the bone. So he told you, you yo, so put he, some onion skin on there. So the the uh, Chinese chef he says uh, to Tony, he's like, "Yo, you gotta put some onion skin on it." Mm. Right. Yeah. So he wraps his fingers in onion skin and medical tape. Yeah. And a few days later, the skin has sewed sewn back together. Yeah. The skin sews back together. It's a me it's a medical revolution, me revolutionary, mo um, medical miracle. Yeah. Like that's. Mm. I'm surprised people probably listening right now are like, "What the heck?" Yeah, or they're probably. Looking I, I'm it seriously. Up. I'm, am I blowing your minds, people? I'm I hope I'm blowing away. your minds. Yeah. I'm, blown away, actually. I'm sure <laughs> everyone's mind blo mind is blown at this point. To be honest. All right, Bern, We got yeah. about like five uh, to seven minutes left. Um, yeah, we need closing thoughts for you. You know, what do you want to tell people out yeah, there? Yeah, what do you want everyone to know? Uh, if you haven't say anything, to whoever's listening, so what's on your mind? You want to close this out with anything in particular? Anything specific? Well. You know, I think, I, I you know I think the the takeaway from this is really just how you know have fun, but you know be responsible with your fun. Mm. Like, see what I'm doing tonight. I'm I'm sipping on some crown with you guys. Mm. I'm relaxing. Mm. I'm having a, a really honestly, I've had a great time tonight. Me I'm too. Really We've had some good yeah. conversations, yeah, so bro. Funny. Yeah, for sure. And uh, with the wedding, everything is going great there. Uh, still trying to get everything, but you want to know what I did yesterday. Let me tell you what I, I did yesterday. <coughs> so what I did yesterday, you know, I woke up, I had a coffee, I had some food. You a coffee drinker? Yeah. That's that morning brown. Yeah. I got to have that dirty bean water, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's that good stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Hold up, there's a plane. You can continue. All right, well, um, so... Yesterday, I went to the Skullneck Center to try to see if I could find a reception. Yeah. But there was no, um, there was, I'm going to wait until <laughs> yeah. this plane passes. Yeah. It's a helicopter. This, it's this Broward Sheriff's really Office. Loud. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the Sheriff's Office, so you watch your tone, all right? <laughs> hey, you better watch it, Brent. 
Uh, yeah. We're next to BSO, so we stay cool, they stay cool. We have a silent agreement. Yeah. Yeah. We um, usually let the BSO off with a warning. Hey, listen, before you before you came on here, you're like, dude, I got some crazy stories. I just want to hear one, like, and all I know right. I, it's on all the right. spot. All right, I'll tell you one. Like, crazy. Craziest one. Like a yeah. crazy story. Craziest right? one? But you've never told anybody this story. Nah, you can tell people. It just got to be crazy. All right, I'll tell you about the first time I ever got drunk. Oh. You ready for this? I'm going to have my legs crossed for this one. So oh. better, oh. better be crazy. <laughs> That's how excited he is. Fat clouds, bro. Yep. Yeah. All night. Give me another drink, and I'll tell you the story. <laughs> oh, dude, I cut you off. You're going to sound a whole one. lot better with Last some drinks. One. Last one? Last one. What time? Where are we at right now, Yeah, Steve? how many minutes are we at? I can drink this pretty 52. quick. 52. 52. Hey, how about right after? Because we're about to end soon, so. No, no, I can drink this real quick. <laughs> All right, you have eight minutes. Give me the biggest shot you can. <laughs> <laughs> or give me the biggest one so far. Stop. The biggest one so far. No, no, more than that. <laughs> Stop. There, that's fine. That's Perfect. enough. All right, thank you. All right, so here we go. Six minutes. First time I ever got drunk. Let's do it in three minutes. He really did come here for the booze. Yeah. He didn't lie. <laughs> not a liar. I well, told you he's not a liar. Here's the thing. <laughs> my my uh, tolerance to alcohol is actually pretty high. Yeah, yeah. All right. On to All the right, story. First time you're drunk. Crazy story. First time I ever got drunk. So I had never drank alcohol before. I've had like sips of wine here and there up to that point. Sure. But I had never, ever gotten drunk before. So okay. I was like, you know, ninth grade was a bad year because, you know, bullies and stuff. Yeah. I get that. You remember, like, how bad that was? Yeah. Ba- you remember how bad my rage was? Remember I broke a paddle on Jack? <laughs> oh, my. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, you have your history You got to stick to the story, stuff. Ben. We got to stick <laughs> yeah. to the story. Crazy. Anyway, 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 yeah, yeah. anyway, anyway. So, with that year, I was like, man, screw this year. This year has been awful. Yeah. I just want to forget this whole year. Mm. And I didn't want anything to do with anybody. I you didn't want anything to do with reality. I was like. You drank to forget. I drank to forget. Exactly. I'm not drinking tonight to forget. You know what? I'm drinking tonight to celebrate. I'm there also celebrating the life of my fish as well. The fish. My, my fish passed away oh. April 20th. No. So that was really oh. sad. Wow. What type of fish? Blue beta fish. Crown tail. Beautiful wow. fish. They last They last a while. I they, bet you've had it yeah. for a while. Yeah. So anyway, back to the story. Yeah. Um, I know. We keep getting off topic here. I know, dude. No, oh, you keep getting two off minutes, topic. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, okay. 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 So... Anyway, I'm I'm going around. I'm uh, this is my grandmother's wedding after party. Sure. The, the reception. Getting crazy. And so I am. I start drinking at this. Yeah. At this point, I start drinking. You start drinking. Picking up the so bottles. What are you drinking? Coqui- coquito. Okay, coquito. Oh, wow. Rum and uh, condensed milk. I had five shots. Mm. Then I went to the sangria. I had ten cups of sangria. <sighs> I didn't even realize I was drunk until I was fucked. No, you're straight. It's just a vehicle fueling up the helicopter. Wow. Uh, and then... Yeah, that's crazy. It, it doesn't stop. Come on. I, I don't stop after this. I had three... Uh, I had three vodkas. A vodka ginger ale, a vodka lemonade, and a, a vodka um, cranberry juice. Then you're I just ha- mixing everything. Then I had uh, r- rum and uh, triple sec yeah. mixed together. So you had a lot of drinks. And I had three of those. Yeah. And then I had a couple of beers, too. Okay. Uh, in the mix of that, and a Jack and Coke. And then to finish the night, I had a London Dry gin and tonic. Did that must have turned you into a monster, How do you didn't remember it? all those yeah. drinks? Yeah. yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't. Because he's got a high tolerance. Hey, where are we at? Well, I didn't have a high tolerance 55. the first time I did it. 55? Yeah, 55. All right, Brandon. All right. Um, Can I ask one last yeah, question? Yeah. Brendan... Describe yourself in one word to the audience. For people who don't know you, be specific. Hmm. Who is Brendan? Why is Brendan? What is Brendan? Yeah. Brendan. All these. Yeah, Brendan. Brendan. <laughs> Brendan. I would probably say confident. Mm. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because it took me a long time to build up the confidence that I have now to be able to talk in front of a camera and not be afraid of a camera. There you go. I will be honest. I've noticed that, bro. Like, yeah. You've been able to hold a 
an amazing like I've loved the conversation we've had and yeah. it's been going very smooth. I'm so glad sure we did this. Yeah. You know? yeah. I am too. Thank you for coming on, bro. Mad respect to you. Um yeah, absolutely, we love you, bro. bro. Yeah, like for sure. this was awesome. Yeah, thanks for vibing with us. Uh to everyone watching out there, hey, thanks for watching. You know, you made um, it to the end. Don't hey. forget to like and subscribe on YouTube, follow See us you on time, Instagram. Guys. Hey, um, 100, first 100 subscribers. We're giving away some hoodies. Giving away so, some hoodies. So make sure if you're watching this, Check please subscribe. It's going to be dope. Because if we got the amount of subscribers we have as viewers, then I'd be happier. Let's and get out of here. I'd be Everybody, happier. Thank Peace. You, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, grab your phone. Very Walk good. Out,